Well, hello there. Welcome to Coffee Time with John and Mama. I'm John and this is Mama. If you're not seeing us, go over to our Facebook page, Coffee Time with John and Mama, and check us out. Let's talk. Let's talk about Southern Sunday lunch. Mama, what are you fixing over there? I'm peeling potatoes and going to fix us a few mashed potatoes. Mmm, and you're going to fry some pork chops yeah, in the Micro or Pro. Tenderloin. Tenderloin. And I'm going to whip up some quick and easy uh, cornbread dressing. Now, I know y'all are thinking, well, this ain't Thanksgiving and you ain't got time, John. It's already 116. Let's go to the chore board and I'm going to show you. I got time. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, one of y'all sent us this a while back. It's low sodium chicken base. Now, if I had broth, or Mama made that broth the other day, but it's already frozen and I'm not going to stir around with it. And this is just a small batch. And I'm going to take this chicken base right here. And I'm going to put about two tablespoons in a little bit of warm water here. And I'm going to make... I'm going to make my own broth here in a hurry. It won't take long at all. And um, if you don't have broth already cooked or if you're trying to hurry one evening for supper and you think, boy, I'd like to have some cornbread dressing with my pork tenderloin, my pork chops, this is what you do. Use bouillon cubes. Use uh, better than bouillon. And this is... Uh, Something I'll have to read it to you because I've done forgot again. Chicken base. I don't know. Just says chicken base. Let me let that design in it. This is custom culinary low sodium chicken base. I like the low sodium. I'm going to add salt in here, but I can control that. So that's what this is. And uh, that will. I'm just taking a little wire whisk to it. In a minute, I'll have some beautiful brown, golden brown broth here. And this is just chicken base in about a cup of water. See how? Huh? You want to put it in the microwave now, Mama? Mama's going to put it in the microwave, let it get hot. She had it hot, and we've took a minute getting ready here. So now I'm just going to dice up some celery. This is some celery, that, this little pile that we have left over from something else. I'm going to use it. And I'm just doing a rough chop on it. I don't care if it's all uniform. I'm just chop, chop, chopping. Then this piece, we've washed him up and I'm going to do the same with it. I'm going to split it. Split it again. How about let's go at least one more time. I'm going to split that one right there again. I got my big knife out. Some of y'all worry about my little knives. This is the big knife. Does some major chopping. Just gonna chop it up just like this. We like celery in our dressing. Um, it's cooked and it don't really add any texture, but it does add some good flavor. If you don't have any celery, use celery salt. Uh, or a little bit of celery seed. And that's just a little pile of celery. Now, when we're making, in contrast, this is one stalk of celery. When we're making it for Thanksgiving or Christmas or Easter, we'll use probably a whole stalk, a whole, um, this is one rib. We'll use a whole stalk, the whole bag of celery. Now, don't throw these leaves away. They're packed full of flavor. If I know in the winter time, more especially than the summertime, but if I use celery in the winter for something else, I will cut those tops off, put them in a baggie and or in a Tupperware bowl that will stay fresh, and I will save those for a time when we have vegetable soup, and those celery leaves are absolutely wonderful in vegetable soup. Now, last night we had pinto beans, and I used this onion. Oh, that's warm, Mama. I can tell. It's it already frothy and brothy. If you need to heat yours up, start out with hot water, which we did, but see, it's already liquefied into beautiful chicken broth now. And that's what you want. But I had these onions left over from last night's soup beans. 
So I'm just going to dice them up the same way I did celery, just a rough chop bone. You don't have to wait till holiday to have dressing, cornbread dressing. All you have to have is some cornbread, basically. And we had some left last night, and I'm going to use some of it. And I've got even had some biscuit bread that Mama made. When did you make that biscuit bread? Day before yesterday, Mama? Yeah, yesterday morning. For morning for breakfast, she just made a pound of biscuit bread for us. And I told her this morning, she said she was going to have pork chops. I said, Mama, we've got cornbread and biscuits. She said, I know what you're going to make. I said, yes, ma'am. So that's what we're having. We're having dressing and pork chops. You may call it uh, pork chops and dressing. I call it dressing and pork chops because today the dressing is the star of the show for me because that's what I've been wanting. I think this will take care of my Thanksgiving and July craving that I always get. Just having some of this dressing. And here's another little thing. Just smelling this dressing cooking is going to answer my need for part of it. Because I absolutely love the smell of celery and onions and chicken brown cooking. It just smells like the holidays. If they made a candle like that, we would own one. Uh, let me heat that up a little bit because while you're talking... You're going to put the saran wrap on it or just heat it? Yeah. And, uh, There's not much of it. It won't take but a minute and that way it won't have to... So there it, it is, folks. Now she's going to heat this. So before she heats it, I'm going to go ahead and put my sprink sprink of poultry seasoning. And this is going to be about a good tablespoon. Because I like the poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning has got a lot of good stuff in it. It's got your sage and other things in it. You don't even have to add sage if you use poultry seasoning. But guess what we do? So I'm going to add some rubbing sage right in there with it. And I'm going to put about a good tablespoon of it too. It's not going to be what they, well, this could be. It could end up being that because I'm making such a small amount. I will say this. I haven't made this small of amount of dressing in a long time. Even when we make it when it's not Thanksgiving. We usually make a little bit more than what this makes. That's just table salt and a little bit of table pepper. Going right in there. So in this bowl is a cup of hot water, a rib of celery and a little bit, and um, a good portion of onion. I think I will put a little bit more of the onion in there. This is looking pretty green, Mama. I may have overdone the spices for the amount. I'm a sprinkler. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put the rest of this onion right here. And that way, I use, it all. use it up, Mama says. That's not waste it. Don't waste that onion. This is good onion. You can put a little bit more water in that. So we're gonna put about a cup. I'm cups. gonna put. Uh, oh, you've got the chicken in it, ain't you? Chicken. You gonna put more chicken? Well, I've got some broth in here. Okay, okay I put some chicken broth. It won't hurt a thing because when I get all this mixed up, it's going to be fine. But when you're making smaller amounts, sometimes your amounts may vary. Okay, the flavor profile is going to be there and it will be delicious. Get all the onion in there. Some people, I have a friend, he said his mama always made green stuffing. I think this would be green. Yep, that's what we had not long. That's what she fixed the other day. Yeah. So in this, I'm going to go ahead and add another cup. That's about a good cup, ain't it? Mm. That looks better. Now I'm going to get a can of... No, I ain't putting no butter yet. Going to put about three tablespoons of butter. And, uh, Mama, you think we need to put a can of creamy chicken soup? Uh, yeah, what we think? could. That's what we normally do when we do the big batch. 
And it's going to put this in the microwave for about two or three minutes. And then we'll add that cornbread and all that other goodness. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to use half a stick. Half a stick of butter. Four tablespoons will work. Dressing and turkey. If we had a small turkey breast, we might have tried turkey today. But pork chops and dressing is good stuff. I had an aunt. She if she fixed chicken or pork or pork meat of any kind, she always had dressing to go with it. I'll go ahead and I open loved this. It. <laughs> I'll go ahead and open this and not use the other today, but I'll make sure that gets stuck down in there where it won't cut nothing. I don't like to just I'll pull the tape. So, in here is a whole cup of cream of chicken. Some people use cream of celery instead of celery. You certainly can do that. We have used both. We have used both, and you can use cream of mushroom if you want to add a little flavor. I don't care for the mushroom in my dressing like you do. Yeah. Sometimes I have put regular mushrooms, but Mama don't like that, so I don't try that You're with her. Ready now for yeah, let me stir up this soup. Okay. I'm going to switch items with you. I'm going to take this up with Mmm. -hmm. Can y'all see what's going on here? So that's going in back in the microwave. This is basically all your flavor, all your ingredients that you're going to need for your dressing. It's all in there. Mama's going to put, let me show you her, she's going to put some clear wrap over it. You know, I don't know what I did with all them microwave cover things. I know there's some here. We get stuff and then we put it away for safekeeping and then who knows where it is when the time comes, right, Mom? Yeah, I've used it forever, but I So put she it put up. the clear wrap over it, gonna put that in the microwave for five or six minutes, whatever six, it takes. Six, six minutes, minutes six, she said. And here she's loaded up the pork loins in here. And you all know we do salt pepper on pork chops and that's what we're doing today. Pepper, salt, let me turn these over, get a little on the other side, just a flavoring, because these are going to cook both sides at the same time. Sometimes you can get by on your skillet with just doing one side, because when you're frying them, you're going to fry, turn them over, and then that side will be right in where the seasonings was. But in this, you want to make sure both sides are... You want to use any of that other seasoning, like that pork and chop, or pork and whatever we yeah. use sometime, or... Uh, yeah, pork chop. I said it wrong. Whatever it's something. <laughs> I, I said it wrong, too, because I don't know what it's called. It ain't pork chop. It's steak and pork. It's right there leaned up right there you got it and we will just put that on one side because we don't want that steak to be okay. steak and pork you never can get it right but steak and chop I'll steak anyway. and chop well this comes from save a lot but it's good but you can there's all these out there you can find any of them and this just adds a little something different but most of the time we use salt and pepper when we fry them this time we're going to put a little bit of this Mm -mm -mm. Your land. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put this right on here on grill mode. Grill mode means it goes down in there. Can y'all see? So grill mode means it goes down in there. And uh, it's going to cook on both sides. And that'll be done in about nine minutes. Lunch is coming along in a hurry. Now let's just drink coffee and watch Mama work. Whoo! It's hot out there, folks. If you've not been out this morning, trust me, it is 
She's not showing the temperature anymore. She says he can't read it. I ain't going to show no, it. No, we're having trouble. So. It's, it's hot. It feels like hot out there. Have you ever heard him say, it's 85, but it feels like 96? Well, that's how it's hot it is. It's a heat index. Hello, Johnny Mama. Well, hello there, Miss Janice. How are you? Hey, June. How are you? Hey, Connie. How are you? Debbie, how are you? Watching from Lexington, Kentucky. Debbie, thank you for watching from Lexington. We love Lexington. Lexington is one of those extended hometowns for us. A lot of times at Christmas, we'll go up there to shop or just see what Lexington's got. It is hot. I've melted out there. <laughs> hot stuff. Uh, let's see what y'all are up to. Hey, Matt. I'm making turkey breast and stuff. And today, are you, Matt? Are you just in the mood for a little bit of Thanksgiving? Me too, Matt. I just want those smells. I want that onion and celery and sage smell. Like I said, if they had a candle, mm, I'd buy it and just burn it. But then I'd probably be hungry for it and not have it. Hi from Texas. Hey, Deborah. How are you doing in Texas? Hey, Miss Linda. Um, I've already got my pan ready. It's been sprayed. It's just a muffin tin. That's what I'm going to put the uh, dressing in today. Um, well, yes, ma'am. Mama says, while you're talking, get to work. Get your to-do list going. This is... Ocean Spray Cranberry, uh, whole cranberries. Just going to open them up here right quick. Put you down here on the chore board. Mom and I like to cook. We really do. And we enjoy cooking. But we just don't want to be all day long in the kitchen. So we like to make it quick, fast, and easy. But yet tasty and good. So how do you do that? Well, you take some shortcuts. You use chicken base instead of cooking a chicken. Um, you use leftover onion instead of having to start all over the whole one if you have a leftover one. Um, use the micro pro grill. Do that. I know a lot of y'all will say, I don't. I would never microwave pork chops and eat them. You may not, but they're good and they're just as good as frying them, and they're taking a lot less time and they're easy. So we do. We have no problem with it. Now if they didn't brown. Or if they didn't do good, or they're rubbery, I wouldn't want them. Um, but these are not. These are delicious. And they're quick, and the house don't smell. And there's no grease splatter. It's a good thing. So that's the reason we do that. I think I've got this open twice. <laughs> Mom said, you talked enough. Are you through with all of this stuff? I'm finished with everything, Mom, except... Our little pan that I'm going to dip it up in, and this cornbread and a little piece of biscuit bread. You want me to bowl this up? Yeah, can I get a little bowl for you? There's a little bottle over here. Are you going to give me a specific one? Well, a clear one. Oh. Thank you, Mom. Did you see that? Didn't hurt a thing because it's cranberry sauce. You gotta love the sound of cranberry sauce coming right out of the can. Sounds better and better every time. Now, Just mash this down. Now if you want to change this up a little bit, you can add you just a drizzle of orange juice in it. I'm talking about a half a tablespoon. And it gives it a citrusy, tangy taste. These are whole cranberries in here. And that's how we like them. Mama's got the liquid already out. There you go, sir. Thank you, Mama. Now, I'm not sure how much that we will need. Woohoo, that's steamy. Warm, isn't it? I'm not sure how much we'll I don't need. I think you need to leave all that in on you. Maybe Okay. If that's, yeah, that'll be fine. And then I'll add it back, or if we have extra, we'll freeze it and use it for another day. Yeah, because there's not very much. There's not much cornbread, nor is there much biscuit bread. But we don't need a bunch. Oh, that'll work perfect, Mama. So I'm going to stir him up. 
Let's see what we have here. Then I'm going to dip some of this out. Now this is not this this could be used for chicken. You could cook chicken in this. This right here would be a good base for a lot of things. I wouldn't care a bit to make a delicious noodle soup in this. It would be absolutely delicious. So uh, just because I'm pouring, taking this up does not mean that it won't go to, to use or we won't use it next time we have dressing or we won't freeze it and then bring it out and put it in soup. I was just thinking last week when I was experiencing one of my crazy cravings how good some homemade chicken noodle soup might be. Oh my. my mind has gone to fall. My mind has gone to chili and fall things and deliciousness. Now this is that cornbread we had left from last night. I'm just going to crumble it up in here. If I have too much broth, I will. If I have too much broth, I'll put some light bread or some crackers. You can do all kinds of things with dressing. Remember, this is one thing they used to make and it was easy and it went a long ways for the family and it didn't cost a lot. Now you don't have to worry about, I've seen people stand and roll this and get it as fine crumbled as you can. You can put that whole piece in there. I'll do it just to show you. It will crumble up when you get that moisture in there, folks. So a lot of people will, they think, oh, you got to stand and crumb that. Because Grandma did. Grandma did it. And you can, but trust me, you don't have to. This is something I had to convince Mama of back in the day because she thought, you never will get that mixed up. And I said, Mama, when it hits that hot liquid, it will just disintegrate. You don't have to worry about standing for hours on hours. Mama would stand at Thanksgiving time for a good 45 minutes and just crumble as as little as it would get. Some of y'all out there going, me too. And stand like this for, it seemed like forever. And I said, Mama, trust me, we don't have that kind of time at the restaurant. We throw whole muffins in there. Oh, it won't never chop up. And I said, yeah, Mama, I promise you. You won't know it. You won't see it. You'll never know you didn't stand there and crumble that. But then one time I was making it and I put two half, two half pounds of cornbread in a big old kettle. Mama about had a fit. A conniption. A conniption. And then when it went just like this did, she said, well, I be. You're right. That liquid just disintegrated. Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't tell you wrong on the cornbread. I wouldn't mess up cornbread dressing. See, it's all gone. A lot of people don't use the crust. They only use the inside. Oh, I'm glad you put that out. What? All that broth. Yeah. I wasn't going to use all of it. I was going to, when I looked at the cornbread, I knew we had a difference. But I, it, no, I, th I was going to put this in another bowl and pour it over it at first. So that's still a little wet. Not bad, though. I mean, it's it's good. But I'm going to put just a little bit of light bread. We do that sometimes the anyway. Mama says the heels. Do you all eat your heels of bread when you have a loaf of bread? I do. It's actually one of my favorite pieces. I Mama love don't. Mama don't. She says, uh -uh. I like it with peanut butter. I like it with, uh, well, just cheese. It's really good with cheese. Um, Daddy never would eat that either. He would eat it if he was eating Lux Pinto beans and he wanted light bread. And he, I guess that was as close to thing of cornbread as he could get. That's the only time he would eat the heel pieces of the bread. So this is light bread. You can use cracker crumbs. You can use um, pre-made panko crumbs. You can use cracker crumbs and bread. There's no either or. It can be any of. Some people put sausage in it. Some of y'all put boiled eggs in it. We don't, but that's okay if you do. Some people, lady brought some to church one time and big pan in it had hives. Not chopped up, hives of pecans in it. They put pecans in it. I've had it with sausage and mushrooms. This is one of those, everybody can do what they want to do. 
And see, it's not green. I know that's green. This is not. I wasn't worried. That's cornbread dressing, folks. Delicious. And this right here, when we freeze this, I will freeze it and label it um, dressing starter so I'll know exactly what's in there. And uh, then I will use it for chicken noodle soup for more cornbread dressing. That would be enough for one night. For You couldn't use that for Thanksgiving. Uh, you need to have a piece of bread. I don't think so. I don't want it dried out. I want it to be just like that. How did it taste? Is it too sagey, Mom? Mom says, no. Let's give it a taste. It's perfection. Now this is where Daddy would say, you are fixing to ruin that by cooking it. Why can't you just leave it in that bowl and serve it like it is? Well, I don't know why we can't. I guess we could if we wanted to. It's awful good. So I'm just going to take this. You could ice cream scoop it in here, but I'm just going to take this. I'm not going to dirty nothing else. Oh, well, Mama says used ice cream. Yes, ma'am. You did, and you're good like that. That's probably the proper way to do it. Just do an ice cream scoop, just like this. It will make it prettier. Make it more even. Yes, ma'am. I'm embarrassed the mama in front of her friends. I'm here. Uh, just putting it in the old, any old way. Now there is some dressing. Going to throw this in the easy bake. Like I said, it's good raw. So if it's good raw, we don't worry about it. We just want it firmed up and good and brown. There you go, Mama. And here's your some raw. Enough to taste around down. Well, I could pretty good. By the time. And that's going to go with our pork tenderloin. And it's going to be done in about 20 minutes or 30. Don't have to hang out in there all day. What are y'all up to? Did I freeze y'all up? Chicken and, chicken and dressing. No, it's pork chops and dressing today. That's what somebody's asking. It's pork tenderloin and uh, cornbread dressing. I don't know that was what they was asking, but that is what is what we're having. I like mine crusty. William, it is good crusty. And that's the reason. Where could it look we put it in muffin tins. That way every piece is completely covered with crust. Every piece is a corner piece. Mama will make us up some homemade, straight from the package, chicken dressing. And that will go over. Are you want to do brown, brown gravy or do since with pork chops? Probably matter. brown. It don't matter. I've got pork gravy, brown gravy, or... Why don't you do pork gravy today? Well, if we was having chicken, we could do chicken gravy. But let's do pork gravy and we'll have... Pork chops and applesauce and dressing, cornbread dressing. Hey Karen, how are you? Okay, Sue, how are you? Hey Patricia! Folks, I'm so glad to see y'all today. It's a great day. It's a little overcast here, but it's hot. Enough sun got through to make it hot, that's for sure. Uh, it looks good. Thank you, Jane. It is good and it's quick. It's easy. Um, hey, John and Mama from Southeast Georgia. Hey, Janice. How's it going down there in Southeast Georgia? Are y'all hot? We're plenty hot here. Uh, you are making me so hungry. Uh, Monette, I was wanting this last week. I told Mama, I said, I'm behind. My internal clock is behind this year. I told y'all, nothing. Nothing has been on schedule this year. Um, I always, always, I want that first red tomato. I want tomato pie. Now, I did end up making one the other night, but folks, it's about two months late. I want tomato gravy about twice a month. And I'll, Mom will say, you want some tomato gravy? Yes, ma'am, let's have it. I want a couple 
uh, tomato pies. Just, you know, it's summer. We ain't going to have them all winter, which we can. And I, I'll make, if y'all remind me, some of y'all remind me this winter, I'll make into a, a, a garden fresh tomato pie right in the middle of winter just to show you how to do it. Um, and you just use canned tomatoes and you drain them off. In fact, actually, the canned tomatoes, diced, are easier to drain. And you can mash that, and it's a little bit easier. Don't tell, you know, a farmer that right now because he he'd be expecting me to use all fresh from the garden, which I did the other night. But uh, the canned tomatoes are easier to drain. But um, about July, first of July, right after the fourth, when we eat hot dogs and we've had potato salad and we've had macaroni salad and we've had all those things, and I just can't wait to get a hold of in the summer. I'll look at Mama and I'll say, Mama, you know what I want? And she'll say, oh, no. Thanksgiving. Yes, ma'am. Can we have a little Thanksgiving? And she'll say, well, we'll work on it, which means maybe by Sunday I'll get you some Thanksgiving together. <laughs> and she'll fix a turkey breast and some homemade dressing. And we'll have cranberry sauce and we'll have gravy and mashed potatoes. And that pretty well satisfies me. As long as I get a hold of that dressing and a little bit of gravy and mashed potatoes and cranberry sauce, then I feel like I've had a good Thanksgiving a flyer there and um, then by Thanksgiving time I'm ready for it again this year I didn't even think about it in July and I've waited around here till September and now I'm like well it's going to be Thanksgiving in a couple months I've about waited too late to have a mid-year Thanksgiving but it's going to be good y'all um, but I mentioned last week mama mentioned it this morning which is the next Sunday which is part of of course for mama anything you ask for She'll try to get it for you as quick as she can. Uh, one night I mentioned two or three things. I said, I like to have some meatloaf, and I love it and care to have some pork chops and pork and beans, and I just named off a whole bunch of stuff. I was hungry. You know, you're hungry, and you just, everything sounds so good. And uh, bless her heart, in the next two weeks, I got to notice, and I said, well, Mama, you're fishy, so I'm trying to fix everything you wanted. I said, well, Mama, I was just hungry that day, but we ended up having all my favorites in one week there. And uh, Mama's like that, ain't you, Mama? I tried to do it that way. I'm going to bring the pork, I mean, the tenderloin over here. You had it about 10? Yeah. About 10 minutes on this tenderloin. and I'm gonna it's. let you check. You want me to get it? She's a go getter now. No, I'm My dad was a go getter too. He would say, Go get that. Wouldn't he, Mama? Yeah, he asked more than I did. Look at those pork chops. Browned to perfection. Now this one right here, it, see if they're a little lower, that's 205, 6, I hear 7, now how about 8, 8, 9, 9, 9, 209, 10, come on. I feel like an auctioneer. 2, 203. I think we're good. Pork chops only have to be 145. Uh-huh. 207. If you'll have me a plate, I'll... Uh, 202. They're all good, Mama. Well, you'll have to leave them in there to stay warm because uh, the dressing is not near started. Okay. In the oven right now. Remember, leave your thermometer open until after it's washed. Don't close. You're tempted to close it down. But you don't want to. You want to leave it up until it's washed. Now I'm going to... Now this handle, he gets hot. But he's supposed to. He's been cooking. Those will continue to cook. Hear them sizzling? Oh my. I have raked the camera through. That's where that spoon was sitting. And I've got cream of chicken on the leg. Boy, if mama bumps it now, it'll slide across the table, <laughs> the counter with the little grease on it. Woo! No, mama, we know you don't never bump the camera. Not over three or four times. Nah. 
Mama, do you um, have applesauce? Apples? You got apples in there? I think there's some apples left right there. You think they are? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Not even apple butter, just plain old apples cooked with cinnamon. And we'll have that with our pork chops. In fact, if you hand it to me. No, it's, this has got, this ain't been drained. Um, but we'll have apples and applesauce. I could even peel a fresh apple, Mama. You want fresh apple with it today? A fresh apple? It's in a little bowl, Mama. I found it. Yes, you did. Um, fresh apple would be good with some pork chops. Well, let be. That's plenty. You want me to put some fresh apple in that and chop it up? No, we'll be. We'll make I don't want nothing this. different. Now, I like fresh apple, too. Just quarter it up, chop it up, put it in with your apples like that or even in the hot dressing when you first get it out it's delicious I made an apple chutney one time with pork chops on here y'all remember that day it was good uh, I didn't fix any bread but we don't, we don't bread. need no bread with dressing that's dressing a no no we ain't doing dressing and bread and potatoes well they would whoo You'd be flying high, Mama. You can't. We can't have all that. We have cut out a lot of bread. When we have bread, we enjoy the bread. Um, like we'll have that Hawaiian crescent roll again because it was really good. We love the honey biscuits. They're really good um, for a roll. Sometimes it just calls for a roll or 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 having crescents for the meal. But really and truly, we don't use near as much bread as we once did. Now all we're going to do is mash the potatoes. The um, dressing is still cooking and it may take a few more minutes on it. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's going to take another minute. I should have started it sooner. I should have really fixed it, maybe done it part one and two on this one. I don't hear the convection on. Do you have convection? Uh, yes, sir, I do. Yes, ma'am, you do. Mm -hmm. All right then. Things are coming right along here, and we'll be wrapping it up. Um, we may have to just show you the dress in, in progress. If it ain't done by the time we get done here, and we won't keep y'all all day. We've done check the pork chops, right? Pork chops are looking good. They're 204, 208, 210. They're over. They're over. They're done, done, mama. They're done, done. Get this cleaned up. Fast, quick, simple today. The coffee's good, Mama. Is the potatoes ready for mashing? Not yet. I mean, they might be. A we ain't in no hurry because that dressing's going to do its thing for a minute. Is green beans good, Mama? They're hot. Mama. They're hot? <laughs> what are you all eating today? The micro poke reel, yes, Janice, it's wonderful. She says she loves hers. Hey, Rebecca, how are you from Michigan? Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Carol. That is what Facebook puts on here, not John and Mama. Karen, you're talking about the during this broadcast, yeah. That's everybody knows. I think everybody's kind of gotten an idea that that's something that. Facebook puts on there if you're even participating in the STARS program. Um, and it's just on there. We're not asking you all if you want to. We appreciate it. It's just like a little, I guess, an appreciation or something. It's what you call it, or a tip or whatever for the broadcast. It's all free. If you want it to be all free, it can be free. We appreciate the hearts and the thumbs up. Uh, we appreciate all those, too. Uh, and we take our STAR money, and we like to buy church cookbooks with it and then uh, give them out to you all and that way it's just a circle of love the church benefits the, and you all get cookbooks some of y'all mama have you got a moment to come over and sit and talk to the folks y'all yeah. 
Oh no, Mama don't like. She is going around like a bumblebee. How's your dressing? That's what I'm checking on. It looks like it's brown. I'm going to turn the camera and let y'all see her for a minute. Hold on. Well, it's tilted down for this. It's just not Bring them over here closer and let them have a look see. Oh, you've got it turned. I've got it turned. Mama's chasing me down. See, they're starting to brown. They're going to be brown. They're going to be delicious. Maybe not before we close out the video. But they're getting there. You see what it's going to be. Chili and cornbread. Diane, we love that. I made that uh, cornbread casserole the other night. Chili and cornbread casserole. I put the chili on the bottom. Poured the cornbread kind of like a mexican cornbread with corn in it and um, stuff on top of it it was delicious even mama said that's a redo let's do that one again she said yeah. you can see the muffins are muff or are the dressing is turned into dressing muffins any questions out there about this little meal today we are having pinto bean we had that last night Sean. it was so good carrots and cornbread and squash relish yes squash relish we love that probably the microwave or timer i would think hmm carolyn you talking about that beeping while ago that was the microwave i'm cooking hamburger steak we love hamburger steak mom that's something we ain't had in a while it's just a good old hamburger steak uh how do you do your chicken do your chicken melody um, uh, we're having pork today but you could do chicken just like this you could do it in, put it in here you can fry chicken you can put it in um, Italian dressing and lemon and lemon pepper it's delicious that way grilled lemon pepper chicken uh, if I'm going to eat it I want it with dressing I want it just plain tasting mama wants it plain does that surprise y'all mm -hmm. like your mess up Wipe my mess up. Mama, I don't have much of a mess, do No, you're doing good today. Are you seeing a mess somewhere? Never argue. If Mama says there's a mess, she'll find one. When I was a kid, she said, get in there and clean up that room. And I'd go in there and I'd think, well, it looks pretty clean. <laughs> and I'd sit there play a game or do something. She, she you ain't done a thing. I said, Mama, it's clean. She said, what about this? What about that? And she'd point out 12 things that I should have done. Your eyes should have been open to. Every time she does that. I'm going to put the and rest of this. if you didn't pick up your toys, what did I put? She threw them away. She said, you can pick them up and keep them or I can pick them up and toss them. Your choice. Your choice, whichever. What did you do? I picked them up and kept them for the most part. <laughs> or should say, I won't pick them up twice. Yes, ma'am. I, I was always a pretty clean. Like I was, I, I knew a time or two of dragging everything in the room out. And the whole room being a mess and taking me an hour and a half to pick up toys. I didn't like that. And Mama would say, pick them up as you go. When you get through playing with it, put it in the toy box or put it on the shelf. And she'd say, you can't play with everything you got at one time anyway. So I got pretty good at, when I got through playing with it, I go put that up and get something else out. That way when I got through playing, I didn't have an hour's worth of picking up to do. That's never any fun. If you've ever done it, you know what I mean. You kids remember. You Gen Xers remember when we used to get everything in the house out. Pick it up or lose it. Drill Sergeant Davis over there. That lost you. You're responsible for your foot. That's right. <laughs> Can y'all hear the glee in her voice of reliving those moments? That did teach you your responsibility of your belongings. Mm-hmm. 
There's a drop lift in there, Mama. Did you salt and pepper this? I could salt it, but they're not good to Tastes fine. Done got it on here, Mama. Remember when I told you you want to make your potatoes a little soupier than what you want to serve them? Because when they sit there just a minute, they thicken up. There you go, Mama. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Anybody got a hey, Mama joke out there? We've not had as many of those here lately. You've been doing good on them, Mama. John, I'm still laughing at your dad leaving you at the chicken farm. <laughs> chicken collateral. If you've never been chicken collateral, folks, you've not lived. But um, you'll have to go back. Was it, when did I tell you all that last week? I can tell you it's plenty of stuff. There's so many stories. Um, can you get a spoon for that? There's so many stories. I could tell you all. Uh, and as I thank him, I will share some more with you. But uh, just the short version. I went with Dad one time when I was about 15 years old. I wasn't driving yet, legal, legal anyway, to get chickens. And we loaded them, and then the guy didn't have change. So Dad left me there for collateral while he went drove up to a store to get change. He wouldn't let me go with him. I started jumping the truck, and he said, "No, just stay here. I'll be back." I knew what he was doing. That's the way it goes. My dad was a let it ride kind of guy. There's been many, many times that he would get mad at me, but then he says, "Well, I'm glad we tied that down." We went one time to pick up a china cabinet. I mean, a glass china cabinet, and he just put it up against the truck and he said it'll ride let's go I said dad we gotta tie that thing down no I ain't gonna go that fast I said dad trust me we're gonna both be glad that we tied it down now I ain't fooling with that so I throwed a rope across it and I said tie that over there he went ahead and tied it well we got it right down to the end of the road and he was getting ready to pull out in the car come he slammed on his brakes that china cabinet rocked forward it rocked backwards it rocked back and forth but thank goodness we'd tied it down he said well i'm glad you tied that down i said it wouldn't have rode through that so one t I, we have more than one time been out in the middle of the road reloading a load of hay because dad said let it ride it'll ride it'll ride come on that time I it fell off the truck and went down what we call Park Hill. Which is a big old steep hill. Uh, Unloaded half a load of hay when we went up that hill. It just slid and right I had off. to pack it all back up there and reload it. And he said, I was the one on the stacking it on top of the truck. It wasn't my fault because I begged him to tie it down. But he said... It's your fault because you didn't stack it right. <laughs> it'll ride. It'll ride, he said. Sometimes Mama and I look at each other and say, it'll ride. <laughs> Just because we know what Daddy would say. Uh, yeah, he got that Dad was a lot like Mom. He liked to hurry and get it done, hurry and get it done, hurry and get it done. And sometimes it was easier just to run it somewhere than try to. And if he had a, had a been able to ride, he would have saved time. But sometimes we would have saved time by tying it. As he got older, I think he realized that a little bit more. And he would say, I know, I know, you want to tie it. And I'd say, yeah, let's tie it, Dad. So, he would blame it on me, but I think he really wanted to tie it too. But he didn't want to admit that he wanted to tie it. He was more like, you'll have to tie it, I know. I said, yeah. 
But that chicken collateral, I've been chicken collateral one time, and one time was enough. Have you checked the uh, dressing? Are we gonna get it? We gonna get to eat it today. I'll eat it like it is. Whatever the cook is on it's what I'll take because I can eat it raw, no problem. Mama's getting ready to make that pork chop gravy. And we're gonna have pork chop gravy with these pork chops and apples. Mashed potatoes, pin, uh, not pinto, peanut green beans and some good canned salsa. You can make your own. Uh, cranberry sauce. This is Markham. Yep, it's Markham. And it's just pork gravy mix. It's going to be good, y'all. Um, all you got to do is add a little water, let it thicken, pour it over the top. Mama's going to go ahead and bring out the cornbread dressing. We're going to see what it is. It may not be quite as brown as we would want but like I said it's already done everything in it is done everything has been cooked and that's what you want I think it's looking good mom check it out folks see it's getting brown enough it's getting there. We'll let's eat. go ahead and eat a piece of it mom you get us a piece of that makes over here, so you can just work with it better. May have to have a spoon instead of that knife. <laughs> she set that down three times. <laughs> she told me to get Well, it may fall apart. You may have it's to going it. to fall apart because it's hot. Mm -hmm. You'll have to have a spoon. Just dip it out with this spoon, and I'll stick the rest of it back in. Mm-mm-mm. See, it's held together good. It's, it's a getting there. It's a getting there. But it'll be there in about six or eight more minutes. Okay. And that'll be good and good for us. I'm going to take this back to the oven. And let the rest of it get good and crispy. And we're going to be ready to go. I hope y'all have already eaten. I hope some of y'all didn't take a late lunch like we have. It's 2 o'clock. We're usually trying to finish up by now. But we had some stuff to do at church afterwards, as we normally do. And we probably piddled around too much. Um... Somehow or another, we end up piddling around on a lot of things, don't we, Mama? Yeah, take more time and what's necessary. But that's life. That's living. That's how it goes. So all we're waiting on now is a little bit of gravy. Little gravy. And we'll be ready to eat. There it is with that gravy, folks. That's as good as downtown. Pork chops, peanut beans, mashed potatoes, and that homemade dressing. You could have made your dressing thinner. It would have been quicker. You could have started a few minutes earlier, and it would have been quicker, too. Here comes Mama with some gravy. Look at this beautiful gravy. Oh, the, I think we're ready, Mama. Okay. Only thing we're waiting on is you to light some more like a butterfly. Well, I'm gonna light. I thought you. No, ma'am. We just we're all just sitting here waiting on you. I said I was gonna light. I'm sure it's the world. She can't light it. She has a lighting deficiency. 
And you think she's going to lie? She won't lie. My landing gear. <laughs> Don't go down. <laughs> Mama never quite gets finished with stuff. She will, uh, get when you're getting ready to go somewhere, you say, you ready to go? Yep, I'm ready to go. Let me just run in here and check this, this, and this. Grab me a jacket, and I'll be right on out there. And usually within five minutes, she is. Watch your foot. Aren't you, Mama? Yep. Okie dokie. There you go. I'm ready, Freddy. Well, let's bless it, and we'll be ready to go. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for the precious hands you prepared it, Lord. And the Lord, just ask for each and every one that has a prayer request today, spoken and unspoken. Just pray that you'll answer it your time, your will, and your glory. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. So we're going to let you all see this, and then we're going to go. So here's that dressing. You can see it is done. It's holding together. Everything in it's done. It tastes delicious, even if I did make it. Mm -hmm. The pork chops good and brown, ready to go. The apples, green beans, mashed potatoes. Just put a little gravy on them, and we're ready to eat. Let y'all see that beautiful gravy footage. I want a little bit of gravy on my pork chop. I want a little bit on my dressing. That's all I wanted on. You're welcome, man. All right, folks. That's lunch. We want to say to you, have a wonderful Ooh. lunch. Make some memories today. Don't know if we'll come back on later or not. But um, enjoy. Make you some memories with your family. Enjoy the rest of your day and be blessed. Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye.